What's going on there, YouTube? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the WWE uh, Elite Collection. Uh, this is the flashback version of Shawn Michaels. Um, this was um, Series uh, 19, or Wave 19, or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, the Wave included, as follows, Brock Lesnar, Kane, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, and Miss Elizabeth. Um, I would probably say the only other one I'd really want on this line is Miss Elizabeth. Um, I'm more of a <laughs> old school wrestling fan than a what's going on right now. I'm not a big fan of it. I'd say the only guy I think is worth watching is probably Dolph Ziggler just because he's a I think he's a decent worker. But um, here is the short, very summarized bio of what this figure is based off of, which is the Hell in the Cell match. Sorry for the shaky cam here. But there it is. Those are his stats. And they left out a lot more about him. But me being a huge Shawn Michaels fan, I really only now... I used to be a big wrestling figure collector um, when Jax was around but uh, I have since calmed down I've focused more of my attention as you've seen in most of my videos um, on DC Universe DC Universe I'll just say Mattel figures basically <laughs> but DC based Mattel figures and um, Marvel Legends so that's the basis of my collection now. I've actually sold a lot of my jacks off. I still only collect uh, Shawn Michaels figures. That's it. He was my favorite wrestler growing up. Um, I liked him. I was a big fan of him since the Rockers, even when he turned heel in the early 90s. I believe it was 91, late 91, he turned heel. And... Um, I've liked him ever since. He's always had a. Uh, he's always been the best wrestler out there, basically to me. I think he's the best wrestler to ever wrestle, and that's saying a lot to me. And I've I know a lot about wrestling. I've watched wrestling my whole life. My mom actually is the one that got me into wrestling. But um, this figure looks great. Let me stop babbling about me, because this is not a review about me. The review of Ant of ODC. Um, but yeah, let me get this guy open real quick for you guys. I like actually opening him, opening the figures on camera live as opposed to just kind of editing it out just because it kind of gives you a feel for what you have to do to open the figure. Um, but might take a little longer, but let's get them open here. We will get him open eventually. But um, while I'm opening him, what is uh, your favorite wrestler if you watch wrestling? If you don't and you're just watching for the figure because you're intrigued by the figure, what is your favorite wrestling figure that you've seen? Um, this is um, it's a very interesting because when I used to collect Jax figures... Um, I got I grew, I grew very fond of those figures, and I was like kind of worried about Mattel, and I was like, eh, I don't know. I just got so used to getting Jax figures that I <laughs> I didn't want to get rid of them. But actually, Mattel has completely given us a better product than Jax ever did. I have to be completely honest here. I know there's a lot of people that like Jax that are out there. I still own Jax figures, but I have to say, I mean, scale-wise, um, these figures are in scale. They give us better title belts, to be honest with you. this I like this rubberized material than those plastic, hard plastic ones that they were giving us with no detail. And this has detail. It's very pliable. You can... Um, um, put this around his waist and not have a big string sticking out like the jacks um, but I mean this is the future here so and I really like Mattel I think Mattel's a very good company the, I mean look what they've done with DC Universe Classics and DC Unlimited um, they've done great work with them 
those figures and I think they've done great work here. Oh boy, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh boy, look at that. Maybe I spoke too soon. There is shit all over his arm. See? See what happens? <laughs> I, guess, uh, I give him a compliment and there's shit all over his arm. I mean, there's all, shit all over his arm. There's one right there, right there, right there. There's ones inside the bicep here. There's a big one right there. What the f... Well, I'm gonna attempt to take his arm piece off here. Spoke too soon, apparently. Apparently I'm gonna have to call Mattel and complain, but... Maybe they'll send me another figure, who knows. But, uh, yeah. Not cool, Matt. Not cool, Mattel. What the hell, Mattel? Let's take this off and see if he's got any on this arm. Hopefully not. So yeah, as uh, as you can see, he's actually got some uh, lubrication on his arm here. Got some lube, bro. <laughs> his uh, shoulder piece is just basically, as you saw as I took that off, it just un unsnaps there very easily. And you kind of have to shimmy this off his shoulder. Now this is the uh, arm piece that he wore to the uh, to the ring for the Hell in the Cell match, uh, along with his uh, European title. Oh, that took a lot of force to get off, kind of. And you kind of just got to do this uh, like hula hooping thing. Kind of got to like shimmy it off. There we go, all the way off his feet. And that's pretty much how it has to come off. But he's got some uh, like lubrication on his. Uh, I don't know if you can see it shining right there. It's like a sort of lubrication to get the uh, shoulder pad on, but I'm going to spl display him without the shoulder piece because it just, I don't know, not a big fan of that. Uh, but it's nice that it's there. That's a good, uh, I mean, uh, Mattel does care about their their figures and how they put their figures out, but I'm going to display him with his belt just like this. I love the head sculpt. The heads, Their head sculpts have gotten so much better over the years than their previous um, head sculpts. That was their big thing. Like, Jax killed it with head sculpts, but Mattel wasn't there yet. And I think Mattel's gotten there. This is a good one. Damn it! Why do they have to... Ugh! That's awful! What are you doing? This is such a cool-looking figure, and you had to ruin it with your QC. God damn it. Well, at least they don't do it for DC Universe Classics, although sometimes they do. Anyways, um, back to this because I am just fucking flapping at my at, at the gums. Uh, anyways, uh, head sculpt looks great. A lot of detail there. Um, yeah, as far as his hearts go, they look good. It says Heartbreak Hit on the back. He's got the hearts on his boots. These are the boots he wore in the late 90s. But uh, let me get to articulation. His head is on a swivel here. His head can move down a little. No, maybe not. No, it's definitely hindered because he's got long hair. But it'll move up like a little bit, like a little wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Sorry. Uh, arm goes up, goes down, does do a full 360. Has a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow, a wrist rotation. Uh, he has an ab crunch, which works very well. Nice and smooth. Uh, has a waist swivel, does do a full 360. His uh, T-jointed hips. Yeah, T-jointed hips. Doesn't really go back because his butt is kind of molded that way. But um, still, everything works great. Has a thigh swivel up top. Double jointed knees. I love it. Um, a boot swivel. Um, ankle movement. Kind of, I give a, well, that one's stiff, so I'll leave it. Um, but ankle movement forward and back and side to side with the ankle rocker or pivot and that's pretty much what you're getting with Shawn Michaels here from the uh, Hell in the Cell match um, like I said he does come with his European championship which doesn't even exist anymore um, they retired the belt if you're familiar with wrestling at all <laughs> I know most of my viewers are probably uh, <laughs> Like, what the heck are you doing a wrestling figure for? But wrestling figures are still kind of cool to me. I don't really, like I said, I don't really collect them. If there's a Shawn Michaels figure out there, or has been made, I probably own it because I'm a big fan of him. But since he retired, I kind of don't watch wrestling at all, ever. So, 
yeah, I highly recommend this guy. Without the uh, QC problems here, I probably would have given him a high rating, but I'm going to give this guy a... I really like the head skull. I'll give him an 8. I probably would have given him a 9 if, uh, if the uh, QC... If there wasn't shit all over his arm. It looks like somebody splattered crap all over his arm. It's like black paint. But, um... Yeah. Do I recommend him? Yeah, but be careful. Be aware. There might be a recall on this. I don't know. I'm going to find out after I call um, Mattel about it. So, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the flippy floppy side.